but that's how much I love the sound of my own voice. So I'm going to hopefully keep this to about 50 or 60 minutes, ask questions at any stage throughout. The one thing that I want to be able to um, really get home with you guys is that you can have all the nutritional guidelines and protocols that you want and you can have the best support. You can have everyone and anyone telling you what it is that you should be doing exercise wise. But unless you guys get out of your own way, unless you can actually allow success, this is all useless and you may as well have not been here. So what I want to be able to help you guys do is to support you make decent goals. And like James you already mentioned, I don't like SMART because I don't think it's going to give you a holistic approach towards goal setting and accomplishing those goals as well. But just to get a sense of who I'm talking to, <coughs> how many of you guys have goals that you are actively pursuing right now? Just show a hands. Oh my gosh, does everyone know who I am? <laughs> James, James just whispered past me, well, maybe we tell them more. Hey, you need some context for this. Sorry. I should tell you, I'm Sarah. I'm James's better half, and um, significantly better half. And I'm also a life coach with the Better Life Project. Have you guys heard of us? Yeah. Okay, that's going to be so awkward. Um, basically, the Better Life Co uh, Project is an Irish life coaching project business. Um, we are here to help make you the happiest, healthiest, and most positive version of yourselves that exists. And a huge, huge role is a huge thing that we use to support you become happy, healthy, and positive is goals. And I truly believe that a goal has transformative effects on your mood and your well being. So, back to my original question How many of you guys are actively pursuing goals? <coughs> Show of hands. Okay, let's go over it. Uh, any goal whatsoever. We'll narrow it down soon, but any goal. Okay. And how do you guys feel when you're actively pursuing a goal? Do you feel focused? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you yeah. feel motivated? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel energized? Yeah. And how many of you guys, out of the ones who put up your hands, are pursuing health, fitness, or weight loss goals? Yeah. Okay, awesome. How's it going? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> We're here. Let's see if we can do anything to help you. Um, how many of you guys are pursuing weight loss or aesthetic goals? Okay. How many of you are pursuing health or fitness goals? And how many of you are pursuing performance goals? So performance goal would be numbers. <coughs> you want to get faster and stronger. Okay. So all goals are valid, be it health, fitness, or weight loss. But one thing that you guys might need to get your head around is that if you've been doing the same thing for a really long time, it could be time to change it. How many of you guys have been trying to lose weight for years? And how many, how many of you guys have actually lost weight recently? Okay, nice work, about half of you. So what I'm gonna suggest over the course of the next um, hour is that we maybe just give ourselves a break and pursue a different goal that is equally as valid, equally as empowering, but just give our brain something a little bit different. For those of you who don't pursue goals, why is that? If you don't want to yell out the answer, ask yourselves in your head right now. Because I bet you I already know what the answer is. For those of you not pursuing goals right now, why aren't you? Is it because you're afraid of failure? Is it? <laughs> what? Spit it out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what excuses? What are you telling yourselves? Is the reason why you can't achieve what it is that you want? You're not good enough. You're afraid of failure. Who here has no time? Yeah. Who here doesn't have the money, the resources, the support? Who's afraid of what people will think of them? Who's afraid of failure? Who's afraid of actually working? Who here is afraid of success? What is it that you are telling you guys is the reason why you can't achieve what it is that you want? If you guys can't name it and take ownership over it, you aren't going to be able to overcome it. Makes sense, doesn't it? 
So like I said, your mindset is going to be the reason that you achieve. If you guys believe that you can squat double body weight, if you guys believe that you'll be able to do five consecutive pull-ups, if you guys believe that you'll be able to lose 10 pounds and keep it off, guess what? You will do it. You have the information that you need. It's time that you get out of your way. And where's the kicker? <laughs> yeah, I think you'll have to use your laptop. <coughs> oh, much. Really? Yeah, they're not safe. Okay, there's a couple of things that we need to think about when we're talking about goals. And they are really, really important. When we're talking about goals, we need to make sure that we've got a few things. I call them my secret ingredients, but they're not secret at all. You need to ask yourself, have you taken ownership over your goal? So research suggests that when we take ownership over our goal, when we make that goal a part of our identity, we are more likely to achieve it. Now, how many of you guys will openly and with confidence talk about your goals to the person next to you? Three people. When we take ownership over our goal, we are moving in confidence towards that. When we take ownership over our goal, we are being assertive. We are acknowledging our abilities. It's a really, really hard one to get our head around because it means that when we actually talk to someone about our goal, we've actually held ourselves accountable to someone. It is a lot harder to pull away from that. How many of you guys have told someone something and felt almost guilted into doing it, but got it done and felt better for it. Well, this is the power of taking, thank you, James, God, he's great, he's like my number one fan. <laughs> this is the beauty of taking ownership over something, and I can't emphasize how powerful this is. It becomes a part of our identity. How many of you guys know how much I want to squat? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right now. Okay. A lot of you probably do, because I talk about it. And there's something very therapeutic in being open about what it is that I want. It removes all the shame and all the barriers. If you guys have goals to lose 10 pounds, but yet you're sitting there in lunch and people are... How many of you guys get looked at weird in the office because you've brought in Tupperware lunch again? Yeah. yeah. And how many of you guys get sniggered at in the office because you've decided not to have a sandwich and you're going yet again for a healthy option? That happens all of the time, but yet if we took ownership over that goal and said with confidence, I have a weight loss goal and this is what I need to do in order to support my result, would that make life a little bit easier? When someone saw in your eyes how confident you were, do you think you'd get sniggered at? Yeah. You do? Okay, maybe you're not saying it's confidence enough. <laughs> Depends on the person. Yeah, people are just easy to right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we need to be able to take ownership over what it is that we want. You need to ask yourself: Does your goal reflect your values? If I ask you what your values are right now, guys, what do you think they are? Values are things that are important to us. So if you guys are chasing an aesthetic goal, a performance goal, or a health and fitness goal, does it reflect a part of something that is important to you? If you've decided that you want to be able to bench 65 or 70 kilos, are you doing that because you saw someone else in the gym do it and you thought it looked good? Or are you doing it because it was actually something that was important to you? Is the goal that you are right now aspiring to important? Does it reflect your value system? The reason that this is so important is because when we face challenges, when we face barriers or obstacles, it's a lot easier to stand back up when it's important to us, when it reflects our values. How many of you guys have ever given up smoking before or taken a break from alcohol before? It makes perfect sense when I'm talking to a group of gym members because clearly you all value your health and your fitness. So it's very, very important that when we make these decisions, 
and we have these choices that they reflect our values. Sorry, can you guys see? I'm going to try to find you. Okay, does your goal make you happy? How many of you guys are pursuing things right now that make you happy? Brilliant. And how many of you guys are pursuing things that don't make you happy, but you feel like you should be doing them? Okay, only a couple of people. You need to ask yourself two questions. How can you adapt that goal and inject a little bit of fun into it? Or, quite simply, why are you doing it in the first place? I understand there are things that we have to do simply because of our circumstances, but how can you adapt it? How can you inject a little bit more fun into it? If you guys have a perform, even better, if you guys have a weight loss goal, and I've had weight loss goals before, and they have made me miserable. I haven't enjoyed any part of it. And it makes it really, really hard to go back over and over again to pursue this goal that brings me absolutely no freaking joy. It's miserable. But there are ways that you can adapt it, there are ways that you can approach that goal differently in order to have fun. And a lot of that can just be changing the goal. Like we said, all goals are valid, all goals will bring you closer to an end point, but maybe what you need to do in this present moment is take a break from the constant weight loss, the pressure that we put on ourselves to look a very, very specific way. So maybe we just need to take a break. Having fun is probably the most important thing that you can do when you're chasing a goal. When you guys are setting goals in your head, does this one come into play much? <clears throat> do you guys often ask yourself, okay, I'm gonna make this goal, and hang on, let me think about, is it fun for me first? Do you guys think like that? Okay, good. It's free. Look, that's it. That is exactly it. What is the point? But so many of us pursue goals that don't reflect our values and don't make us happy because we feel like someone else wants us to. If you guys look back at your CAO form, for example, how much of what was on your CAO 